Andy Lee is Irish, McEwen Scottish. They have something bordering on a friendship. They, they'll have a pint together after this is all over. Right now, both have a lot to prove. God bless you both. This is becoming a fight, not a boxing match. We didn't expect to see that, particularly from McEwen. This is a stunningly effective performance in the last two or three rounds by a Scottish fighter who appeared to be mechanical and stylized prior to tonight. He is fighting with Biver. More thunderous punches from McEwen, at least as thunderous as his can be. <laughs> yeah, and McEwen also puts three and four shots together, and Andy Lee, it's one and two, it seems. Oh, Lee's well, punches are slowing down. His confidence seems shot. Andy Lee appears to be in trouble in round four. Not necessarily trouble in being, terms of being knocked out, but tactical trouble. He's oh. losing the fight big time now. And now he's just loading up on right hooks. Andy Lee seems to realize he's desperate. You expect him to be trying to move forward and work hard. They've both shown heart. All of us in the Celtic tribe can be proud of him. And down goes McEwen on a perfect left hand shot by Lee. 20 seconds to go in this round and then the 10th. That's the power shot that Lee has been looking for. It wasn't the right hook, it was a straight left. And it mainly came from fatigue. He's tired, his legs are all of the punches he's tired. McEwen slightly wobbled as Lee goes after him again. He's High drama in Foxwood. He's not thinking about the scorecards, Jim. He's looking to burn down the house once and for all. And McEwen is holding on, but his legs are wobbling. He won't make it out of this one, I don't think. Two minutes to go. McEwen leans back. Lee go. hammers him with the left hand. And Steve Smoger waves off the fight. Andy Lee rescues his career with a dramatic come-from-behind 10th round knockout. <laughs>